What's up guys? In this video, we are gonna be talking about the brand new Nike Structure 25. Now the Nike Structure 25 offers support and comfort, but if you don't need that support, if you don't need that little extra guidance, don't discount the Structure 25. It's a very capable daily trainer. Oh, and this video is in partnership with Roadrunner Sports. Roadrunner Sports was good enough to send me the Structure 25 for the purpose of review. However, they're not gonna get a chance to see this video before you do on YouTube. All right, let's get into it. Let's get started off with price. The Nike Structure 25 will cost you $140. And I think $140 is very well priced for the Structure 25 because you are getting a lot of shoe. You're getting a lot of stability elements. You're getting a very comfortable daily trainer. Now the Nike Structure 25 does fit true to size. And with that said, I think it's going to fit a wide range of people. Now my feet are generally quite narrow and the Structure 25 fit me wonderfully. But I think if you did have slightly wider feet, I think the Structure 25 is going to work well for you too. We do have a nice wide toe box and there seems to be a lot of room through the midfoot. Right? talk about some specs. The Nike Structure 25 has 37.7 millimeters of stack height in the heel, 27.7 in the forefoot for a 10 millimeter drop. Nike claims that a US men's size 10 will tip the scale at 11.4 ounces or 322 grams. However, in my size, a US men's size 13, it tips the scale at 13.4 ounces or 381 grams. Now remember, stability and cushion. Because we've got so many stability elements built into the Structure 25, this shoe is going to be perfect for a daily trainer. This is the shoe that you're gonna put most of your miles in during the week. I wouldn't recommend the Structure 25 as a race day shoe, but Nike has a lot of options out there that are better suited for that. But our race lives are just such a small segment of our running. Obviously the main bulk of our running happens in training, and that's where this shoe is gonna shine. Okay, let's talk about build quality. Starting at the top, working our way down, you can see just by looking at this heel collar, it is a plush step in feel. There's a lot of padding around the heel collar. The heel counter comes all the way around the side of the shoe and we have this heel clip right at the bottom. And all these elements tied together really grip your heel and I had absolutely no movement in my heel and I didn't have to do the lace lock method. So as is, I put my foot in, tie them, I'm good to go. The Structure 25 is using a single layer mesh. Even though it is a little on the thick side for a single layer mesh, I did find it to be fairly breathable. However, it is certainly not the coolest feeling running shoe out there. And if you do live or run in a hot climate, you may find your feet getting a little warm but as soon as the temperatures start to drop i think you're going to find that the upper of the structure 25 hits that sweet spot with comfort now there are quite a few overlays on the structure 25 obviously we've talked about the heel clip and the heel counter this is just adding the support to give you that good heel lock and then on my colorway it's pretty easy to see built into the single layer mesh are these support bands and these just keep your forefoot right in place and they give a little structure to the upper which are going to contribute to giving your foot a good lockdown feel in the forefoot and by keeping the upper off your foot so you don't get too overheated now the eyelet chains on the structure 25 they feel like felt. They're nice and soft, but they are sewn onto the upper so they're extra. And by doing that, it gives the eyelet chain just a little more support. Now the tongue is super thick and plush. It fits right in with the rest of the shoe. It is just a real treat to put your foot into the Structure 25 because the step in feel is just so soft. Now Nike says that they have softened the materials on the inside of the heel collar and on the tongue. So it's gonna be a little more comfortable than the Structure 24. I didn't run in the Structure 24, so I can't really compare, but it feels pretty soft, soft enough. Now, sometimes I get comments from people asking if they can run barefoot in a shoe. And really, for me, that's not something I would do unless I was running at the beach and I thought the shoes were gonna get wet. But if you did wanna run barefoot in a running shoe, I think the Structure 25 is going to be a pretty good option. I haven't tried it myself, but just putting my hand in here and feeling this, it feels so soft and padded that it seems like it would be a pretty comfortable ride. The Structure 25 does have a removable sock liner. So if you had your own orthotics you wanted to put in there, you certainly can. Other than that, there's really nothing to say about the sock liner. Then let's come down to the midsole. Now, Nike has made a pretty big change. Now they're using Cushlon 3.0. And the Cushlon 3.0 is an EVA blend and it's designed just to give you a little more support and it's certainly very protective underfoot. But we'll talk more about how the foam feels when we talk about the ride. Now, if I turn the shoe around to the medial side, you can see this very pronounced area right along the arch of your foot. And this is Nike's midfoot support system. Now guys, I don't want you to look at this. See this giant piece of foam that's coming up on the outside and think, whoa, that looks like a, a lot of arch support. I don't know if I'm gonna like that much arch support. Well guys, for me, it wasn't really noticeable. It fit like any other Nike shoe, in my opinion. Now I am a neutral runner, so perhaps I'm not taking full advantage of all the stability elements that are built in, but also just know that this high bit of foam right here, this is aesthetic. This just comes up over the upper. Your foot sits below this big bit of foam here. So the arch inside the shoe is not going to be high as it looks from the outside. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see this part right here on the forefoot it says air zoom. Nike is including an air zoom unit in the forefoot of the Structure 25. And this air zoom unit is just gonna give the shoe a little more pop. Now, I've already said that this is 
a daily trainer, I don't recommend this for going out and running intervals or racing. But while I was testing this shoe, I did take it out for a tempo run just to see how it felt. And I gotta say, it didn't feel bad. Once I started getting up on my toes when I started running faster, the Structure 25 responded very well. And I actually liked the feeling of the air zoom unit in the forefoot, and I really thought it added something to the ride. Especially when I started picking up the pace. When I'm running slow, I really can't say I noticed it. But when you start picking up the pace, it is clear that it's there and it's adding something to your ride. Coming down to the outsole, got a lot of outsole rubber. This shoe is going to last you a long time. Part of the reason $140 is a good price for this shoe because there is so much rubber here that it's it's not going to wear away. It's going to last you a long time. Now you can see Nike has included some forefoot grooves right here and here and that's to increase flexibility and if I bend it it's pretty flexible. And then of course we've got this vertical groove coming from the heel all the way up to the forefoot and that's just to add to stability give a little extra guidance. Okay let's talk about ride and I want you to look at this midsole. I'm going to turn it around so you can see both sides. Friends, I look at this shoe, I see this stack of Cushlon 3.0 foam. I look at all this padding around the heel collar, I see how thick the tongue is, and I think to myself, the Structure 25 is gonna be a pretty plush ride. It's gonna be soft, maybe even too soft. Guys, I'm here to tell you, that's not the case. Now, I would never say that the Structure 25 is a firm ride, but it is certainly not soft. So I'm not sure what shoes you have run in before now. Perhaps you've run in some super soft trainers. The Structure 25 is not that. Now, remember, we still have 37 and 27 for stack height, so you're not gonna be feeling the road. There's not a lot of road feel, but the foam is still slightly firm. And I like the feeling of that type of foam. It's right in that sweet spot. It's right in the Goldilocks zone where you can go out, you can run a long time and it doesn't feel like your body's getting beaten up from all the pounding of the road. But also because the foam is just slightly firmer than being super soft, it almost encourages you to pick up the pace a little more. Now, again, there's no road feel, but the firmer foam kind of leads you to believe that you're feeling the road. And that's what encourages you to kind of pick up the pace when you have to. Again, ideally, I wouldn't use this for any speed base. I wouldn't use it for any racing, but you know, it's pretty good practice to include strides at the end of some of your easy runs just to get those legs turning over. And I think the firm foam in the Structure 25 is perfectly suited for that. Oh, and in my testing, I did do a 20 mile long run for my training to an upcoming marathon. At the end of that 20 mile run, my legs felt good, my feet felt good. I had no complaints of the shoe throughout the entire run. I think that's pretty high praise. Oh, I skipped right over it when I was talking about the upper, but yeah, the tongue is super plush. The tongue is not gusseted. Now, normally I'd look at a shoe that has a tongue that isn't gusseted and I'd be a little worried. I'd be a little worried that the tongue was going to migrate. But the Structure 25 does have a lace loop and in my experience, it held the tongue in place nicely. Even when I was out there for my longest run and that one 20 mile run, I was out there for three hours, the tongue stayed in place. The tongue didn't move around once I had tied the laces and locked everything in place. So I really can't say that the non-gusseted tongue is anything to worry about. And then just looking at wear quickly, guys, this is one of those shoes where I don't see any wear at all, which is nice. Again, that is a, that's a positive for the Structure 25. It's amazing. I usually see a lot of wear here on the lateral heel edge and I'm not seeing anything. I am seeing a lot of dirt still on the shoe, which is sprinkling all over my desk here. That's nothing you have to worry about. The only downside that I've got about the Structure 25 is that in my colorway, it's very light. It's like an off white on the top and it's getting quite dirty already. I tell you, white shoes or shoes with any white on them are good for one run. After that, they just get dirty from life, from running. And it looks like it's got more wear than it really does. But really it's just my dirty feet going into the shoe. Anyway, pretty happy with the Structure 25. If you are looking for a little extra support in your daily trainer and you're looking for a daily trainer that is good value and will last a long time, I think the Structure 25 is definitely one to consider. Also, if you are someone that likes to use a pair of shoes for more than just your running, I think the Structure 25 is an excellent option for that too. And that's in part to the foam not being too soft. If you were going to be on your feet all day, I think this would feel pretty good. And because of all this extra support, I just think it would work well for a lot of different activities. Like you're running down to the shop shoe and your running shoe. However, look, if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I don't recommend anyone does that. I think you should use your running shoes for running. Then when you're done using them for running, then you can rotate them into their second life. But if the Structure 25 is going to be your only pair of shoes, I think they'll work well for pretty much everything you're going to put to them. All right, guys, I want to hear from you. First of all, I want to know if you run in a stability shoe. Perhaps you can go a little further and let me know if you actually need a stability shoe or you run in them because that little extra guidance just makes the shoe ride a little more comfortable. And also, because this ultimately is a daily trainer, what is your daily trainer of choice right now? All right, let me know. And for now, it's Matt P. And this has been my review of the Nike Structure 25. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.